Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the Cashew and Yannicka. I'm currently at Rated House Soundworks in Philadelphia, PA, recording my debut EP, the City Dreams EP. I'm here with my band. We've got Colin, Lionel, Zach, Brandon, Stanley. Honestly, this is the studio. I'm literally like in shock right now. I'm trying to play it off. You know, we got like all these instruments here. It's crazy. But first things first, if you need to the channel, my name is Ikechi Yenika. I'm an alto saxophonist, multi-instrumentalist, and performing artist from Upper Darby, Pennsylvania. And my goal on this channel is to become a world-renowned music legend. So I post vlogs, performances, song covers, you name it. So if that interests you, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. All right, so first off, we got with Lionel. Johnson, yeah, show them what you got going on here. Show them your kids, you know, your gas nose, gadgets, whatever on it. What did he say? Oh. So I had to bring my Nora today. We got the Nora stage three. Then we playing the Rose as well. And then the Yamaha. Nice little setup, you know what I'm saying? Three piece. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do exactly on this, but I'm gonna just, you know, vibe, follow the band, play my part, and you know, yeah. So right over here, we've got Colin Myers on the, you want me to call you Colin Myers or Colin Yeah, Robbins? man, I don't. You can call me whatever you want, as long as it's PG-13. All right, we got Colin the Alchemist over here on keys. Show him the rig, bro. The Kronos. This thing is essentially a, uh, a placement for one part of my soul. You know, the necklaces being the other three. I got my regular touring set up. I bring this thing everywhere. Uh, 50 pounds of back-breaking burden, but it sounds fantastic. You know, I kind of have all my original uh, set lists programmed to the keyboard, so for every sound I can just kind of select what's appropriate. I got Akechi's very own set list programmed to this thing. The things I do for you, man. Whenever Akechi calls me up and he's got, um, he's got an idea for an arrangement or textures for his sounds, just have a couple of combi patches set up for him. So most of them are just kind of things that he'll go back and forth, gauge how accurate the sound is. I'll just keep stacking patches. And then, um, you know, for the City Dream sound, I got an entire fader board set up. Well, I'm not plugged up the speaker, so I can't really, can't really demonstrate that yet. But, um, you know, for every texture of his sound for City Dreams, when we're going through it, I just fade each bit in, and then it just kind of builds up the grand allure of the, of the track. It sounds really cool. Back in 2017, what I did was I actually Set him down my house, you know, I said, yo, we got to find the sound effect to... That was the chair, that was the chair, man. <laughs> we got to find the sound effect to City Dreams, and we went through so many different sounds. I said, I want tinkles, I want weird stuff. It was all this random stuff, but, like, I feel like I accurately created the sound of a dream, you know, with that. There's something called synesthesia that um, a lot of musicians have, which is where you can basically hear or see colors of sounds. So when I play City Dreams and I play D minor, I literally see blue. And it's funny because I got the shirt because I feel like it's an accurate representation of like what that sound looks like for his piano and you know what I see when I hear D minor. So it's like it's going to be really cool and you know maybe you guys will start seeing colors too after you hear the song, you know. All right, next up we got Zach guys on the bass. Something about your equipment that you rock. I know you got a new bass too. Indeed, yeah. I picked up this uh, MTD uh, 535 from the guitar shop NYC up in Brooklyn. It's beautiful, it's active. It sounds real nice through this uh, this old Ampeg tube amp they have here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know too much about it, honestly, but uh, all I know is it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna get the job done. <laughs> Yeah, one cool thing that um, I was able to work out with Zach was we have a song on the EP called Nova. And Nova is one of the songs, like I play bass as well, but it's like one of those, I can only play so much on bass. You know, you have to have a certain level of dexterity on the instruments to really pull off all your ideas. But like, I remember showing it to Zach, he got it immediately. Even gave him a last minute twist, you know, to the whole part and like he knocked it out the part, so. Oh man, if you knew how many hours I shed that bass line. <laughs> Do you mind playing just a tad bit of it? Sure, man. Let me see. I'm not, I'm not too warmed up. Excuse any, any mistakes. Yeah. Woo! Well yeah. enough. <laughs> So look forward to, his, to Zach snapping more on the project. It's gonna be killing. All right, and we got Stanley Collins over here playing the guitar. Show him what you got, bro. Yeah, so 
Uh, I'm playing a Strat, Maple Neck, White Body. Shout out to Jimi Hendrix. Uh, I'm playing a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe 3 here. Some of the pedals, so I got, you know, Polytune, Analog Chorus. Um, I use the chorus a lot for like uh, City Dreams. Reverb, I kind of like reverb a lot, so that's probably going to be there almost every song. Just a little bit, just a smidgen, not too much. Some delay. Um, for a lot of like kind of like some more spacey sounds uh, and then a wah. Oh, also unrelated, <laughs> but I have a Canon uh, A1 program, you know, shout out to Canon. You know, if y'all want to give me some free camera stuff, that'd be great. Uh, I don't think I'll make this anymore, but if y'all want to start making it again, that'd be great. Um, and then a uh, Canon flash here. So, uh, oh, and what else? Oh, sure. If you want to give me some more air earphones, that'd be great. That'd be great too. Um, you don't have to, but if you want to. Uh, but yeah, so, and this is for what I'll be using as like my in-ear since I'm in like a guitar room to be, so I can be as loud as I want and not destroy everybody else's uh, micro bleeding to the microphones. Um, but yeah, that's it. All right, guys, so we got Brandon Coakley, the drummer for the project. So Brandon, tell them a little bit about your um, drum set, you know, all the equipment you got. So we'll start with the cymbals. Akechi came through with the, the Sabians. We got the AAX promotional setup except I swapped in an artisan that I just picked up. Uh, it came in the mail yesterday, that's clutch, because now we can use it today and tomorrow. So we got the 20 inch artisan light ride here, a 16 inch thin crash, 18 inch thin crash, some 14 inch medium hats. This right here, it's not my drum, but I'm a huge fan of DW and I want to play their equipment. And Akechi owns this drum, and he's nice enough to let me use it. So we got the PDP Concept Maple. Maple, I believe it's a, a five by fourteen or a five and a half by fourteen. He's got the Remo black suede on there. You know, I'm I'm an Evans guy, but I can respect a quality product. You know what I mean? So we're gonna rock out with this. Definitely not complaining. You know, I'm excited about what we got. We got the Yamaha set up here. Not 100% sure what model it is. Um, I swapped in some heads, we got the coated G2s on top, Evans, you know, we got a little something going on. Not finished tuning, we got the EMAD, we got a clear EMAD on the kick. So we're going to have a good time today. Definitely excited about the Arson though. Sabian does not play around. It's going to be good. Alright guys, I have absolutely no idea what to expect from this booth. Apparently I'm going to be recording in this booth. So, there'll be a couple things going on. We've got vocals and sax too, if you guys didn't know I'm a vocalist as well. So, ooh! Snap, that's actually really cool! Okay, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even get a chance to really look at this stuff, wow. We have this amazing microphone right here. Um, wow! It's actually really cool. It's like a really big body microphone. We got the shock mount over here as well. We got the vocal one too. What is that? Wow. Yeah, if I knew the, I think it's a Newman mic. Newman mic and they have the pop filter right here. Yeah. Man, yeah, this is new to me. Okay. So yeah, I guess this is where I'm going to be playing, you know. And we got the axe right here, the saxophone. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with the buffet crap on. Auto saxophone, you know what I'm saying? We got the we got the um, Neotech neck strap right over here. I also have the Beechler Diamond Inlay S6S um, mouthpiece. We're rocking with Vanderin um, Java, the green um, the green box Java reads. We've got the um, Ultimate ligature right over here as well. So. Yeah, that's my setup for the saxophone. I'm also going to have an effects pedal, a Digitech whammy pedal. Uh, I'm currently finding like a power supply for that. But um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be working with. So you're going to get some crazy alto saxophone sound effects on top of like vocals as well. <laughs> so it's a lot of stuff that I'm really doing here. And, you know, a lot of this stuff is new to me. I've never really recorded in the studio before. So it'll be a new experience for me. But yeah, let's have some fun with this. <laughs> this place is crazy. That's all I can really say. I'm just really in shock, to be honest. Really in shock. But Keshi, you show us a really nice place, bro. Especially this yeah. area. The whole setup is ridiculous. Thanks, man. Ridiculous. Crazy. To the boys. 
freaking awesome. And everyone feels cool because everyone's just chilling, but like everyone has brilliant skills, no matter what it is. You know, I mean, if I if there was a kitchen here, I'd be making food for everybody. But like, you know, no matter what the contribution is, it's it's awesome and it works out and plays out. Hey, like, one of the biggest things about this project is just the fact that like. Yes, there's a lot of band documentaries and stuff, you know, but like, rarely do you ever really get to see the full personalities of like everyone who's not the front man, you know? So like, you actually get to know who you are, like, who, no. who, who, which who is why is, or like, which is why when we're doing the filming and stuff, especially here, we want you like if you guys see like me or Tony with the cameras, oh, okay. interact with the cameras, man. You know what I mean? Because like I was telling, I, I, know, personal, I know it's so difficult. It's for you. I know it's difficult for you, but like that's. But we want you to. We want the personality of everybody to come through with this. We want it to also look like you guys are just having the the time of your lives recording this. Time of lives. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like when you guys are doing rehearsals, it's different because that's the serious moment. You know, that's like the time where you guys are like trying to figure out the things and stuff like that. With this man, just have a blast, with it, right? Interact with us, please. Please interact with us. Please, please man. <laughs> I'm, I'm begging, you, I'm begging you. You are. You should be used to the you camera being in your face y'all. right now. You like you're talking to me. I should be used to you know. <laughs> I will. I need like 30 seconds. It's weird to hear his voice like through a microphone. <laughs> right. Dude. <laughs> Brandon on the track. Oh my god. This seems real mild. Yeah, right. It's, it's, I love how comfy the chairs are though. That's like the. I don't want to say that's the biggest thing. <laughs>
really good thumbnail pictures today for the YouTube videos. The first one, we're all chilling on the couch. Alright, something up. Second one, we're all chilling in front of the um, the console here. We got the basically the console and the whole studio has the backdrop. So it's like people see, okay, you know, we got this nice band over here, we're chilling. Oh my god, all these buttons and gadgets. I don't know what right. I'm saying. You know, gadgets. we got a lot of technology right there. Gadgets and a and whole giant <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a whole, you know, all this technology and a whole like room of just, you know, music and amazing stuff behind us. Maybe you want to click the video. Now, the biggest thumbnail that we take today, this is going to be the one that like really does it. I don't know what video I'm going to put it on, but like we all have to be on the floor and uh, kind of like around, spread around each other. I'm gonna be in the center, and yeah, like every cameraman, um, you know, that's legit media, and like don't shoot his media. All you guys are gonna have the cameras on me, and um, you're gonna have like an action shot, kind of like what we did at rehearsal, but just here. That's yeah. gonna be the one that really does. It. I feel like that's mm -hmm. like the most viral thumbnail that I could possibly think of. Mm -hmm. Say on the floor. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. We're just, we're just standing there. Oh, man. There was like a... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, it's Michael. Not, we it's got, sounded like, like, a, we got like a Dennis Chamber. Yeah, yeah. So he's on the other team. Absolutely. We'll start with this, and then we'll walk over to the... What? No, 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 no. the drummer or something. What? It's not him, because he's more like... Oh, yeah. oh, that's, that's a
I probably have to warm up. Oh, that's what? Am I able to like play like scales through the? Yeah, dude. Do that thing. Absolutely. See, so I want to find a nice spot so that you can see everyone. I'll bring it this way. Yeah. See you around. We'll be seeing guitar. If you're something like right here, you should be able to see drums, bass with a little lean, pianos and guitar. That should be best at eye contact. Um, my only concern is yeah. Colin, would he, how would he be able to see me from that cor from that corner? So we can move him around. Uh, so we can actually pull him back like this way a little bit. Okay. And that way he can look sideways, see you, look sideways, see yourself. Yeah. Um, that doesn't that doesn't matter for me in terms of people, you know, so long as everyone can see everyone. Right. I figured we we can move him around.
crew comes out so it's not going to mess with the sound check if they're out there like practicing and stuff is no, it? that's true okay. <laughs> I can get more of the pedal effect in. Thanks. So I'm sending it down your vocal channel at the moment, so we'll just hit vocal, and then this bottom one will adjust it a little bit. Oh. And same thing for anything else that you want to like turn up or turn down, you just touch it, and then this bottom one adjusts the level. This is the master volume all over. Um, so there's one page, if you hit 13, it goes to the next page. Um, I'm on, that's me. Thank <laughs> you. 
see you like at all. Yeah, barely. If you, if you move at all to your left, then I can't see you at all. I can't see you. I definitely can't see that. Yeah, I can't see you. If you give an uh, early enough cue for Brandon, then uh, Brandon can cue that. Yeah, I can uh, use... Yeah. I can see clearly now. By next section, do you mean next section of the solo or next? Okay. Okay. Like the walk up? Yo, so just to be clear, so the section, this like first in the beginning is kind of like spacey and then it builds up to a funk and then we do the, the uh, movement and then we kind of just start grooving after that movement and then the guitar solo, right? Okay. I hope that makes sense. City Dreams, take one, action. Headphones off for a second. Okay, wait, it's, it's loud. <laughs> I'm glad I, I'm glad I got this in. You guys are killing it though. Thanks.
Man, we just finished the, I don't know what number take, uh, but it feels good. Um, we're working on City Dreams right now. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm in my like own little uh, guitar closet. That's what I'm calling it. Akechi has a saxophone closet. Everybody else gets to play in the main room. But uh, yeah, it's fun. It's been a lot of fun so far. One thing I will say, because it's hard as hell to speak through those minds, is um, make sure to crash almost every, pretty much every time on the chorus. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was okay. crashing. Mm -hmm. Also, make sure to uh, oh, really well. remember how, like, on that last yeah, chorus, right before we see. end, that's the uh, biggest fill. That's when you can do a fill like that. Because I'm going to be like, da 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 Okay, that works out. Exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah. You can also do that type of stuff during my solo too. Okay. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, make sure you know that communication whenever the solo is doing something like da 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 da, da you know, do like a chop to that. Awesome. Yeah. But um, other than that, um, I think we should be okay. Let's try it again. How's the recording going? How's the recording going? Yeah. Pretty great. My uh, my right ear is starting to feel lonely because nothing's coming out of this side. 
<laughs> but I'm chilling. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm very uh, comfortable, confident, and I'm sitting on a drum throne. <laughs> no. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, so here's the deal, right? When we go to the bridge, I did notice that you guys went like a little bit too loud and it kind of jumped to like the climax. We're gradually building it up. So the reason why I told um, Brandon to, you know, um, play closed hi-hat was because I wanted the groove to be contained so we can gradually open things up. Then he gradually goes over to the ride cymbal, gradually starts doing those chops and everyone's in there and then like we end it, you know? Yeah, because I feel like it also helps um, if the band um, has like the dynamics right. Since now they know like it has to like gradually build for like both solos. Let's go, man. What's up? Yeah, it's loud. Hey. <laughs> What's good? So, are you ready to come out or? Um, I'm going to take one last solo and try to make it count, then I'm going to come out. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, so this solo is not going to be recorded? This solo will be recorded. Is it just way more easier and comfortable to just do it in here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. From like a performance standpoint, it'd be easy there, but like as far as like what I'd be playing, it's yeah. way more believable if I'm like right over here. You right over here. Okay, yeah, because okay. then like. So you just want us to just record you in here? If possible, I would have loved to be there, but I just can't like play the notes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, especially I, like I play notes fast. Yeah, yeah. I, I in, in theory, <laughs> yeah, in yeah. theory, like I would like it to be in there, but in here is cool too. All right, but you're, you're cool with that for the video, right? You being in here. Yeah, I'm alright with it. Alright, all right, yeah. cool. So just give us like seven minutes to set up real quick. Okay. We're gonna head out. Okay. It's it's five, so. That's a seven hour day, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll be back here tomorrow morning um, and just get it rolling from there. Okay. Cool? Cool. Um, you mind if I see one clip? Okay, go, go ahead, come on. Thanks, man. Uh, hang on a second, I'll bring it in here. Yeah. Uh, hey guys, I'm going to be, um, they are going to bring the cameras into this room. And um, so right now you guys can take like a short break. Still stay at your instruments though, but yeah. I'm about to ask if this room has its own air conditioning because it feels different in here. And I looked up at the corner outside. Like, yeah. yeah. It's a nice touch. <laughs> is it still, is it getting hot? No, it looks perfect. No, not really. Oh, not to be honest, it's fine. Well, I mean, there's no color grading on it. We're trying to see long, so we got to go and do the color grading and stuff like that. So, um, Let's give him a single vibe. They just neutralized the Yeah, right. You know what video I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of similar to Sony's S log. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that would be great. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Sure. So, and then I'm going to carry it. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I love the place. Yeah, it's an amazing with. spot, super big studio. Ambiance, great. All the band members, I'm still learning their names, I'm having names, but all the band members, dope vibes, great people. Um, even the recording process was really fun, really easy. We took an approach where we focused on each band member. Um, we got two angles and we knocked it out. Um, we got two angles for each player, so uh, it was pretty much an all-day process. It was dope, it was fun. I found out that he's an amazing saxophone player. Crazy, man. Crazy, I was shocked, I was appalled. We didn't get to hear the song before, we actually heard the song today, the day of. So, I'm super happy, the bass player was crazy, the piano Shout player, boy on the drums too, I, don't know he got, I don't know where the piano player got them chords from, but DC, DC. He, he definitely went to church, jazz school, something like that, but the drummer was going crazy. Everybody, the, the guitar player, everybody yeah. was dope, so. Super excited. But yeah, man, super good vibes. Social this media, you know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Regular, regular. Yeah, exactly. So look forward to the music video. I can't really, you can't, I know, I can't rely. I can't talk. I can't, I can't announce a release date just yet, but definitely look forward to it. I promise you guys, it will definitely be a worldwide success. So, you know, look forward to the content. Coming soon, coming soon. Thanks for having us, man. Yeah, man, appreciate it. And you. make sure to follow them on Instagram at Film Shooters Media. Film Shooters Media. How do you spell it? It's right here. All right, here we go. You feel me? Very that, I bet that elbow wasn't done. Just, you good? I
If you guys think it's cool, or if you think it's cool, it's your project. You know what I mean? So if you're digging, then it is what it is. You know? No diggity, no okay. doubt. One thing I do also want to do, I, I liked that take. I think Michael also said that we could take some parts from like other takes yeah. and then like like kind of clip it and put it into this. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Like, yeah. If we all agreed that that was like a really solid uh, one, uh, then we could sure. do that. Sure, yeah. And like find like our best moments from like the ones. Yeah. Natural. yeah. I, I think at I least from that one, I think that, that was like the first half of that one was the most solid out of all of them for me. Yeah. I, I like, you had a lot of moments there. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And like everybody had a lot of moments. I like what you did for like the the intro with that sound effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's this? It's like you read my mind. Like, da -da 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 -da. It reminds me of like some gospel song I heard. Yeah, dude. Like every single. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. All right, guys. So we just finished the recording session the first day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> How'd you? What'd you guys think about today? No, we were put through it. No, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I, we got food halfway through. That makes up for it. I took a nap. This man bought us all, not one, not two, three whole boxes of pizza. I don't, I don't mess around when it comes to food. That was a very grand gesture, so let's just give this man applause for that. That means I get to take the leftovers home and I'll fight anyone who Next says person. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm eating all of them. Next person. All right. Who's up? Who's up next? Uh, I, you know, I thought today went very well, all things considered. <laughs> I am also very tired. I share that kind of thing with a catchy for sure. But I think we got some really good stuff done today. Amen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's go for Lano. <laughs> yeah. uh, honestly, I agree with all of y'all. One, I am tired, but. I think it was definitely worth it right now. I think we got a lot of great stuff done. And, yeah, can't wait to see how the rest of the, or oh, tomorrow goes. Yeah, it's been good. It's been fun. Uh, it's been good just kind of like, just hanging out, I think. That's been pretty cool. Just being around other people, playing music. That in itself is good enough for me. Uh, but, yeah, I think we got a lot done. Did, like, music video and worked through a couple songs. So, yeah, good recording, all things considered. I definitely appreciate the positive energy that's in the room amongst the band and the people helping us or helping Ketchy put his project together. This is me untangling a knot in the back of my hand, so don't mind this. Um, it's nice to have a legitimate recording experience, and I appreciate the product so far. You know, I'm just glad I'm able to give Ketchy what he wants on drums, you know, or at least get as close as possible. So it's nice to be able to be solid as a professional. Amen. <laughs> All right. I almost forgot oh, this man. is the part where I end the video. <laughs> Damn, am I some, this tired? <laughs> you guys said some profound stuff, and I'm the one that brought up food. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Make sure to follow us on social media. Links are down below inside the description. I'll also leave them inside the video as well. Make sure to turn on post notifications, the bell icon next to the subscribe button, so you never miss a video. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. Mm. <laughs>